Hey there, my name's Phil Legata. I'm a developer evangelist at Pusher. This is a short video just to demonstrate how to get connected to Pusher. Okay, so um, when you sign up for Pusher, we'll create an application for you. You can create numerous applications. Here we've got a video application. Within there, you'll be given a key. So this key um, identifies your application so that when you connect, you can access that application. You can then, if I jump to JSPen and I clear down that, you then need to include the push script tag. version and the minified file. You then create a new pusher object and you pass in your application key. And over on the right, believe it or not, we're actually connected. So how do you know you're connected? So this is where pusher tooling comes in really handy uh, and makes it easy to build these sort of applications. So you can go to the debug console. What I'll do is I'll drag this over here. And we can see the app on the left. We should be able to, it's gonna be useful. Okay, so if we change the contents of that, we'll see we've got a disconnect as the page read, as this frame over here reloaded, and we got a reconnect. And we can do the same again. We'll see a disconnect and the reconnect as the page reloads. So we know we're connected, and we can see that in the debug console on the right. The other thing that's really useful is if we open up the JavaScript console, there's a pusher.log property that you can bind to, or that you can assign a, uh, a function to. And if you assign a function to it, it's passed a parameter every time that something happens within the JavaScript library. So we can then do something like console.log. And then we can see debug information about down here that says we're initialized and we're connecting. Um, and then this is where we're connected to, wsdpusherup.com, and then you'll see we're actually connected. The other thing that's useful, um, let me jump this back over here, is Pusher uh, focuses on events, so events within application where um, we help you build invented architectures and, and apps. So Pusher has a connect, the Pusher instance here has a connection object, which you can bind to. Now you can bind to a bunch of different, if I go to the docs, you can bind to a bunch of different connection states. So you can bind to a state changed event, which tells you any state change, or you can bind to specific state changes. So for instance, connected. So we can bind to, connected um, and we can call a connected function and down here we define that function then we can simply oh we've got a document we've got an ID of the uh, of hello And we can set the inner text of that to connected. There we go, connected. Awesome. So include the pusher JavaScript library, create a new pusher instance, pass in your application ID. If you want to, you can bind to a connected event or state changed event so that you're aware of the connection status.